it was unspeakable. I mean, where we thought that there was land, there was water. You could only see the tops of the roof. Hurricanes like Hurricane Katrina that struck New Orleans in 2005 are among the deadliest forces of nature. Katrina was a Category 5 hurricane with winds approaching speeds of 155 miles per hour while over the Gulf of Mexico. It left behind a trail of devastation of unconceivable magnitude. Seeing the, uh, the devastation was just unspeakable. It took my breath away that that storms like this can create unsurmountable amount of damage. With its tremendous force, it catapulted the Gulf Stream waters to nearly 30 feet in height, causing the levees to fail in a major way. You know, you're looking at 25% and more of the population not having access to cars, more than 25% being um, in poverty. I never been like this in my life. That really brought what I do and what the people on the aircraft it brought it to a different level. Now, scientists from NASA and from NOAA are about to embark on an ambitious scientific expedition, right through the eye of some of the most powerful hurricanes. NASA is a research agency. We do the research. There will be certain aspects of it which will feed into the national operational weather forecasting system. To help answer questions like, how do hurricanes form? And what conditions in the atmosphere are responsible for stimulating the rapid intensification? Our purpose is to study hurricanes, how they develop, how they intensify, how they play out their life cycles across the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. Using NASA Global Position satellites and other cutting edge technologies, this team of scientists hopes to unveil these mysteries while traveling through the eye of hurricanes. While it's important to know how these hazards work, that human component is really the critical piece. 